Hello friends, welcome to this tutorial. Here we learn how to write a program in C or more specifically here we learn how to print a text on the screen. Our first task is to open a new source file. To open it, go to file, new and then source file. Now it can open a new blank file. To save it, go to file, save as I would like to save it in my desktop and I would like to name it first work first work and make sure the extension is C source file save it now it is ready to work before write the program one thing you must know that is what is preprocessor a preprocessor is a program that processes source code before compilation. Preprocessor offers several features called preprocessor directives. Each of the preprocessor directives begin with a hash symbol. Using preprocessor, we can include a file, and the syntax is has include less than greater than sign, and inside this sign, we gonna write a file name. This is called a header file. Now we know what is a header file. In C, we write different functions to perform different tasks, such as printing text on the screen and taking input from the keyboard. These functions are stored in a file. It's called header file. Now we write a header file, stdio.h. Stdio means standard input output file, and the extension h indicates it's a header file. Now we include another header file has include con io dot h. Next we write our main function. Before write the main function, I just want to introduce you with the function. A function is a collection of statements to do some particular task. Using function, we can do the same work again and again. Every C program can be thought of as a collection of this function. And every C program has at least one function, that is main function. Main function is the entry point of C program. Now we write the main function, int main, a pair of parentheses, and a pair of curly braces. Here main is a function and the keyword int indicates it returns an integer value. Using function we can pass parameters and the parameters must be written inside the parenthesis. Here we no need to pass any parameter so leave it blank. And now we write the function body. Function body must be written inside the curly braces. One thing must remember, in C, every statement execute one after another or in sequential order. So we can see, C follow the top-down approach. In this program, we print something on the screen using a function that is called printf. The printf function is available in the header file stdi.h. The function of printf is written in this file. Now, inside the double quotation, whatever we write, it gets printed on the screen. Suppose write, hello world. Hello world. And the statement terminated by a semicolon. Don't forget to give it. If you don't give a semicolon, it gives an error. The function main returns an integer value. So type return 0 means it returns a value. Now save it. 
compile it okay and run it our program is run successfully but we can't see the output because the execution speed is so fast that the output box is appeared and gone so if we want to see the output we need to add a pause after the printf statement if we add a pause then we see the output we add a pause using a statement that is called get ch this statement is written in the header file conio.h the function get ch actually not used for pause it is used to take character from keyboard but here we use for pause means the program waiting until we press a key on the keyboard now we can see the output check it compile it done now run it hello world now we see the output now we can see a blinking cursor here it means it just waiting for some key to press when you press a key it terminate now i press enter and it is terminated that's all we will see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel